tuck and slide. This movement pattern helps to reset your pelvic position. To begin, would you please lie on your back with one leg straight, the other leg knee up, foot planted somewhat near your buttock. For this sequence, your straight leg is your working leg. Your arms are loosely by your sides. Now bring your attention to the ankle and foot of your straight leg and turn the toes of that foot out and the knee of that leg in. Hold the position. Feel the tension at the outside of your shin and at your groin. Equalize those two places by adjusting the amount of effort in the two actions until you can't tell at which place you're exerting more effort. Put your attention at each place and compare. When equalized, slowly relax and repeat three more times, being sure to hold the contractions until you can feel that they're equal. Do that now. Continue until I return. Very good. Complete what you're doing. Now switch leg positions and bring your attention to the other foot and ankle and repeat the action on that side, being sure to get a good equalization. Very good. And complete what you're doing. Now switch leg positions and bring your attention to the straight leg, ankle, and foot. And this time, turn the toes inward and turn the knee outward and tighten the buttock on that side until the tension there equals the tension at your ankle used to turn your foot inward. When equal, slowly relax and repeat the action until I return. and complete what you're doing. Now, switch leg positions and bring your attention to the other ankle and foot and do the same action. Toes in, knee out, buttock tight, equalize. Continue until I return. and complete what you're doing.
and this next action, you do both legs at the same time. This time, just watch the movements as I describe them to you. I'll then instruct you to lie down and guide you through them. You start by turning your toes outward, one side at a time, matching the amount of effort and where you feel the effort, so the two sides are mirror images. Then you turn your knees inward the same way, one at a time, to tighten your groin on both sides. You do your best to turn your kneecaps toward each other by the same amount. You equalize the two sides and slowly relax both sides at the same speed. So now, lie on your back and bring your straight legs to about shoulder width or closer. Pick a side and turn the toes outward. Notice where you tense to do so. Hold the position and do the same thing with the other leg, matching the sensations of the two sides. Then turn the knee of one side in so you feel it in the groin and hold the position. And turn the other knee inward so you feel the same sensation on the other side. Now match up the amount of effort you're using on the two sides. Then, slowly, at the same speed, relax both sides. Now continue by yourself until I return. You may feel that your sides are not even. If that's the case, make yourself slightly more uneven and then move the other direction to become more even. Alternate as needed until you get the necessary release that enables you to be more symmetrically even side to side. and complete what you're doing. Now we do the action in reverse with the feet turned inward, your knees turned slightly outward, and the buttocks of both sides tightened. Add each action one at a time. Equalize left and right at ankles and buttocks and relax all efforts at the same speed. Continue until I return. Next movement. First, I'll describe this movement pattern to you as you watch. 
Then I'll step you through the sequence of movements as you do it. There's no need to memorize. In this movement, you begin with inhalation. You then arch your back by tightening the muscles of the small of your back. You adjust the pressure on your feet so that you feel the tension centered in your low back, neither to the right nor to the left. Once you've found that position, you press down with one foot so the sole presses evenly front to back and side to side, Press the opposite shoulder down with equal effort and take a little bit of weight off the other foot. If you lift enough, you'll feel tension at the front of the hip joint on your lifted side and at your low back. By moving the knee of the lifted foot side to side, you locate the position at which you feel the tension at your groin get connected to the tension at your low back. You'll feel a sensation of tension along the hip bone of that side, along the inside. Once in that position, you slowly straighten that leg, maintaining this sensation along the inside of your hip bone. As you straighten, you may do staged exhalations. As you reach full extension, you allow your low back to flatten. And once at full extension, you straighten that knee and tighten the straight leg buttock. You breathe out firmly to tighten your belly muscles. Press down with the planted foot to flatten your back. You'll feel a satisfying sensation of contraction at your buttocks on either side of your sacrum. Hold that long enough to feel and enjoy, and then slowly relax. Then, you lift the front of the bent knee foot so that you rest on the point of the heel. Straighten the straight leg. Point the toes and reach with that leg. You press down with equal effort with the straight leg side shoulder and pull the other armpit toward your tailbone, which causes your side to tighten. The tightening on your side will cause your ribs to pull toward the opposite side. You deliberately help your ribs move that way. You then slowly relax. So that constitutes one complete cycle. You'll be going through a series of cycles alternating left and right. Now let's do the action. Would you please lie on your back with your legs outstretched? Now bring your knees up with your feet planted somewhat near your buttocks. Spaced so your knees lean neither in nor out when relaxed. Your arms are outstretched to your sides with your elbows in line with your shoulders, forearms on either side of your head. Breathe in. Arch your back. Push the air down into your belly. Center the sensation in your low back by adjusting your foot pressure side to side and breathe when you need to. Press down flatly with your left foot. Press down with your right shoulder. Now barely lift your right foot. Feel the tension at the groin and front of the hip joint and at the low back. Move your right knee slightly to the side until you feel both places connect. Now slowly straighten your right leg, maintaining the sensation along the bone of your pelvis that connects groin to low back. When you're almost straight, Press with your left foot to help flatten your back. Breathe out to tighten your belly muscles. Straighten your right leg at the knee. Reach and tighten the buttock. Hold the effort and enjoy the sensation for a moment. And then when ready, relax. Then breathe freely.
Now slowly lift the front of your left foot so that the weight rests upon the point of your heel. Straighten your right leg so that the toes point away from you. Take a little bit of weight off the point of your heel by pressing your whole right leg down. Push your right shoulder down into the surface. And pull your left armpit by feel toward your tailbone. Hold for a moment and feel your ribs pull to the side. Then slowly relax. Now make note of which leg was the straight leg and bring it up into starting position. Breathe in. Arch your back at the waist. Push the air into your lower abdomen. Center the sensation of tension at your low back. Breathe when you need to. And press flatly on the sole of your right foot. Press down on your left shoulder. And take a bit of weight off the sole of your left foot. Move your left knee slightly to the side until you feel the tension. Go up the bone and connect the groin to low back. Once you've found that position, slowly straighten the leg, maintaining awareness of the muscle along the bone. When all the way straight, tighten your left buttock, press down with your right foot, and breathe out to help your back flatten. Hold and feel. Slowly relax and breathe freely. Now lift your right foot onto the point of your heel. Point your left foot and toes away from you. Take a bit of weight off the point of your right heel. Push your left shoulder down. Pull your right armpit toward your tailbone by feel. Equalize all of the efforts by feel, and then slowly relax. Bring both knees up. Breathe in. Arch your back. Center the tension. Breathe when you need to. Press your left foot down evenly, front to back, side to side. Press down on your right shoulder. Lift your right foot enough to feel tension in your right groin. Tilt your right knee out enough to locate the position that makes you feel tension along the bone. Slowly straighten your right leg. Feel along the bone. Keep the other foot flatly in contact with the surface. When your right leg is almost straight, allow your low back to flatten. Breathe out strongly enough to feel your belly muscles and flatten your back. Tighten your right buttock. Press down evenly with your left foot. Hold and enjoy the sensation. Then relax and breathe freely. Left foot onto the point of the heel. Take some weight off the heel. Right leg, toes point away. Press down with the right shoulder. Pull your left armpit toward your tailbone. Help your ribs pull to the side. Hold the effort. Enjoy the sensations. And when ready, slowly relax. Bring both knees up and do your other side. Inhale. Arch your back. Connect the feeling of your solar plexus and diaphragm to the low back. Center the sensation in your low back. 
Press one foot down evenly. Lift the other foot enough to feel your groin and low back tension. Locate the position that makes you feel along the bone. Slowly straighten the lifted side leg. Feel along your hip bone. Keep the other foot flatly in contact with the surface. When the straight leg is almost straight, breathe out to tighten your belly muscles and flatten your low back down. Tighten the buttock of the straight leg. Press with the bent knee foot. Hold and enjoy the sensation, then slowly relax and breathe freely. Bend knee foot onto the point of the heel. Take some weight off the heel. Straight leg, toes point away. Press down with the straight leg, shoulder. Pull the other armpit toward your tailbone. Help your ribs pull to the side. Hold and equalize the sensations. And when ready, slowly relax. Then bring both knees up and do your other side. Continue by yourself, alternating legs, until you have done five on both sides or are satisfied with the results. If you can't remember the sequence well enough to do it on your own, just watch or do the best you can. With subsequent repetitions, you'll remember the sequence and be able to continue from this point on your own. Once you know this movement well enough, you can begin it with staged inhalation and when extending the straight leg, do staged exhalation. With your remaining repetitions, let go of the final position extremely slowly.
complete what you're doing. Now spread yourself out flat. Let your mind go quiet. Enjoy the stillness. This concludes Tuck and Slide.